my name is Sabina and I am in the class of 2023 and I'm in the study abroad mentorship program here at Arcadia University. Today I'm going to talk about study abroad at Arcadia. Arcadia study abroad program is the main reason I chose to study at this school. They have a wide variety of study abroad programs and you can study abroad throughout your time at Arcadia. As a freshman you might be able to participate in Arcadia's first year study abroad experience program or FISI. In this program you're able to go to London during the spring semester of your freshman year. I did this my freshman year and it was amazing but we'll get to that more in a bit. Another program Arcadia offers for freshmen and also transfers is preview. If you're not sure about going abroad for a full semester um, but you want to try it out, Preview is a great option. With Preview, you'll be able to take a class at Arcadia's campus in Glenside, and then you'll learn about a country in that class, and then for a week, you and the whole class will go to that country that you learned about. After freshman year, you can participate in study abroad programs from a semester long to even a year long if you want. Um, in countries like Spain, Scotland, England, just to name a few. And you can even do an internship abroad. And a global field study is another option. It's a very similar to preview where you'll take a class in Glenside and then go to that country. But the difference is this isn't for freshmen, this is for upperclassmen. So now my study abroad experience. During my study abroad experience, I went to London and when I originally got the letter saying I was eligible for FISI, um, I was nervous and really hesitant about it to go abroad my freshman year, but then I realized that I knew I wanted to study abroad sometime during my college experience, and I knew I wanted to go abroad more than once, so I decided to do it. With FISI in London, you will take your classes at the Arcadia London Center, which is in central London, which is great because everything is around you. And also what's great about the classes is that you get to learn outside of the classroom. In a class, you might talk about a certain museum or show or a place in London, and then the professor will take everyone to that show, to that museum, or to that place in London. And it's great because you get to see different places or things in London that you'll talk about in class. Now, let's talk about transportation in London. Um, at first, it can be intimidating to try and navigate a new city on your own, but originally Arcadia will help you navigate everything as a freshman. But still, it can be intimidating, but I found that London is actually one of the easiest cities to navigate. Most of the time they'll use the tube, which is like their subway, and it took a bit of getting used to at first, but it was actually so easy and you'll get the hang of it. While I was in London, I actually took some trips to different countries throughout Europe. I went to Paris for my 19th birthday and during reading week, which is a week that you have off, end of February, March-ish, I went to Germany alone. First, I flew to Cologne to visit a friend, and then after that, I flew up to Hamburg to visit another friend, and then I took the train down to Frankfurt to visit my family, and then my cousin and I drove to Berlin. So, that was amazing. Traveling around Germany pretty much on my own is not something I thought I would do at such a young age, but study abroad definitely gave me a sense of independence and I am so glad that I decided to do that. During my sophomore year, I did an online internship with a company in London. Though it was supposed to be in person, it was changed to online due to current issues, but it was still amazing to be able to work with a company overseas. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you got a good insight to study abroad at Arcadia. Thanks for watching. Bye!